Have you ever had a 3D print that's covered in random dots or blobs? We call this problem zits, and these are really annoying because they ruin the appearance of your 3D prints. I'm Stephen McCulloch from 3D Cube, and today's video is the 11th out of 14 on our video series covering all of the 14 different failure modes of Quinley Vision, our AI supervisor for 3D printers. Today I'll talk about what zits are, how Quinley Vision detects them, why zits happen, and how you can prevent them from happening on your 3D prints. So what are zits? Zits are little blobs or dots, and they're on the surface of your print and they can be randomly distributed across the surface or they can be following some kind of pattern. So it's easy for a human to identify when a print has zits, but for an AI, it has to look at things a little bit differently. So when Quinley Vision looks at your print and it notices that there's an uneven surface texture, it'll look at that a little bit closer to see if those uneven surface texture components are blobs or if there's something closer to like under extrusion or over extrusion. And if it finds that there are blobs in that uneven surface, it'll say, hey, your print has zits. So why do zits happen? Zits occur where retractions happen. So it could be right before or right after a retraction. And a zit happens when either too much or too little material is extruded before or after a retraction. So that can either leave a small gap, which is when too little material is extruded, or a small blob, which is when too much material is extruded. Another reason for zits is something called G-code stuttering, which means your printer is actually printing faster than the G-code that it's receiving. So it's having to wait for G-code commands to be received. Okay, so how do you stop zits from happening? If you think it's due to retraction problems, what you can do is check your retraction settings. You want to look at your retraction distance and your retraction speed and make sure that those are calibrated. Next thing to do is to look at other retraction settings or settings that will replace a retraction with a different movement. So the first one of these is combing. And combing, what it does is replaces a retraction move with a travel move. And this travel move only moves through infill, for example, and so it won't actually leave any strings on your print. But when a combing move goes for too long, sometimes you'll lose material and there'll actually be a small gap at the end of that line. So you can try disabling combing and that might fix your problem. Another setting to check is a setting called coasting, and what that does is it replaces the last little bit of extrusion with a travel move. So that's assuming that your nozzle maybe oozes a little bit. It'll turn that ooze into useful material. That can sometimes leave gaps if that coasting value is too high. I would recommend just turning it off. There's also a setting called extra prime amount, which is when you unretract material, it adds a little bit extra to make up for anything lost due to stringing. But this can cause blobs on the surface of your print, so I would recommend leaving this also at zero. So if you're looking at your print and it seems like your printer is pausing every once in a while for no reason, you might have what's called G-code stuttering. And there are a few things you can do to fix this. Usually G-code stuttering happens when you're printing through USB. So if you are printing through USB, make sure that the host computer sending the G-code is not overloaded. So you might have to close some programs or maybe unplug a webcam if you're using a Raspberry Pi, or disabling plugins if you're using Octoprint. If you're not printing through USB and you're printing from an SD card, then you can actually fix this issue most of the time by disabling a setting called power loss recovery. So zits can be a tricky problem to solve, but hopefully this video has given you a few ideas on how to maybe fix it. And if you want to find out how Quinley Vision detects zits and 13 other kinds of 3D print fails, check out our online game, 3D Printle. And in this game, you can try to find out the fails in the image and compare your results to the AI. And that's all for today. So thanks for watching. Remember to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one.